the keys, you very bad mother. Cherries Jubilee, and that's it. Cherry Jubilee. Jubilee. Jubilee, the ex the person? The ex person?
That's okay, BB-8. BB-8, my parents. BB-8, my neighbor. You think anybody ever actually legit got excited while snapping into a Slim Jim? Probably not. I'm going to guess that it, it's kind of more of a disappointment once you snap into it and you're like, well, this isn't the tastiest thing I've ever had. It's not the worst thing I've ever had. But it's like, you know. You can get a beef stick anywhere, but when a wrestling person sells it to you, well, it makes it more exciting, I guess. What do you want, what do you want to do? You know, what are you gonna do about it? I can't do. I can't help you out there, pal.
Tell you what, I'm getting some in and out after this, man. In and out! Hmm! In and out. In and out. What are you implying that your burgers are gonna do inside my body? You know what I mean? It's like, what? It's going in and it's going out. You know what I mean? It's like the truth. Can't I can't make this shit up, man. Okay. 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 See if the redemptions are working. Let's see if Streamlabs is working. Redeem beautiful, beautiful. Ooh. Oh well. Oof. Whatever. Okay, we'll get the redemptions and shit working. Uh, but not tonight. Not tonight, I guess. I don't know, man. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. Is this on? Oh. Uh. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah, let's fucking do this. Let's fucking... Oh, whoa. What? Ah, uh, hello all. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the dark room. I am the dude in the dark room, Paul Mosley Hanton, and uh, tonight is Triforce Thursday, which means we're going to be shooting some photography in Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, I will say that Triforce Thursday will not always be Breath of the Wild, okay? Because we have, we clocked some photo, photo missions, and at the very least... Uh, Zelda Majora's Mask, which has been on my list of uh, games to play uh, on the stream, or at least play through those particular missions, or the the, the one quest in in Zelda um, Majora's Mask that that incorporates photography. Um, so one one of these days, sooner probably rather than later, uh, we will we will stream uh, Majora's Mask. What I'll probably do is like play from the beginning of the game through until we get to the photography section, which is like right at the beginning. I think it's one of the first things uh, you end up doing in that game. So it'll, it'll happen pretty quick. Uh, and then uh, that's one of the first videos that I really wanted to prepare. Uh, not the very first, but one of the, one of the very early videos that we're going to do uh, explaining the photography contained within that game. So it'll be, the photography in Zelda Majora's Mask, and then we'll just talk about that one quest, what you do with what kind of camera you use, my musings and all that stuff. Um, so that's on the way. But for now, Triforce Thursday is mostly, or only, uh, Breath of the Wild. Hope that's cool. This game is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it provides a, 
unlimited photographic opportunity uh, while we could probably go around photographing each uh, structure maybe and that would be finite or trying to get like one shot of each enemy and then that could be a finite amount it'd be a lot but it would be finite uh, the random type of encounters and the commingling of enemies and NPCs uh, and the weather changing and the light changing, all of that really adds up to quite a infinite amount of opportunities to photograph some cool stuff around Hyrule. Uh, and it's a lot of fun to do it. I feel like every time we jump on, uh, it, it, I think it's going to go one way and then random shit pops up and then we kind of, that ends up what we're, we, we, we focus on, focus and shoot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep doing it as long as as long as it's fun for everybody else. As long as I'm having fun, we're gonna we're gonna play a lot of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, and again, what we are doing when we are shooting in any of these games on the stream, uh, really we're building uh, all of our content for what will be the photography in said game. So in this case, we will have a fully produced, fully fledged video explaining the photography in Breath of the Wild in detail with commentary by yours truly. And um, I'm always learning more about it and, and bringing new ideas or getting new ideas for how, what I want to talk about and things like that. So uh, we will get we will get that up eventually. But I do really want to I really want to make sure we're getting every little ounce of information out of this game that we can. I want to say everything I can about the photography in this game. Um, so the more we play, the more we have to say, and the better those videos will end up. Uh, so I hope everyone's enjoying the rest of their day, and it's, it's almost the weekend. we got one more day. Um, if you haven't had a good week, take a minute, take a deep breath, relax, maybe pop on a video game. Let's have some fun, play along while we're playing here. I encourage that. Uh, and uh, I hope you're ready for the weekend because that's, that's popping up tomorrow. Uh, news, news, news. What kind of news do we got? Uh, not much, but YouTube has been my YouTube page where we will we, we upload all the previous streams, uh, which if you are interested in seeing what we've done in the past, Check out the YouTube. Um, yeah, my socials aren't working. But it's going to be something like that. It's all under the same... This same username. Paul uh, But check out the YouTube. That will fill you in on what we've done in the past. And that will be where we end up uh, posting these fully edited uh, versions of... Uh, the f fully edited explanations of the photography in these games. Those will end up on the YouTube page, plus a lot of other cool stuff. Um, so yeah, check check that out. If you are on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, obviously would appreciate it if you uh, enjoyed, if you did enjoy the video, obviously. Like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps out. Best way you can support the stream. Although the best way right now to help support my channel is just to follow us here or again i mean even on youtube same thing uh, ideally both um and we did post this week I, I pretty much got up every every previous stream i'm almost all caught up there's a couple everything's uploaded now i'm just adding the details of each video um getting that uh really locked in place now it's locked uh, but anyway, there's going to be a lot of, there's a lot of stuff up there now, uh, and I'm going to do my best to do, uh, uh, keep my workflow very smooth in that I will upload these videos right after we, we, uh, finish the stream. So I'll download right away. I have been downloading right away, but then I just haven't been uploading to YouTube and then I have a huge back catalog and I was kind of joking to myself that it was better to do it in chunks and I think it's better just to do it one at a time because then I did I did get a little overwhelmed with how many I had to upload and it took like three or four days to get them all uploaded and then now I'm doing all the tagging and stuff so doing them one at a time I think is a better option 
and that's going to be uh that's going to be what I'm trying to do from here here on. So you will you will have access to these previous sub bro, sub Johnny. Hello. Um early stream. Yeah, it's a little earlier, eh? Although this is arguably closer to the time I say I'm going to go on. No, I don't know. But yeah, a little earlier. I'm probably going to leave a little earlier than usual. Um but we will see. You're throwing me off. Yeah, sorry. We want you know, what do you want? Uh, anyway, ooh, glad you could make it. Uh, sit back, relax, let's have some fun, let's take some photos. Like I said, I'm probably, I might not be able to uh, stay on as long as, as usual. Although I've also said that quite a few times and then ended up being on for extremely long periods. So maybe I'll be wrong. Who knows? Uh, we got plenty to do in here. Anyway, let's uh, let's have some fun. Let's shoot some photos. Sit back, relax, have fun. I'm very open to suggestions and comments and such recommendations. Uh, let me know if you have any ideas for where to shoot, how to shoot, challenges for me to shoot. I love challenges. Um, other than that, just relax and uh, I, I'm I'm the one working. You know what I mean? I'll be the one working here. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is review, review from our previous installment, our previous shoot, where were we? Oh, we were, we were shooting the giant stall nox, or uh, uh, whatever, nox, what nox is it? You fool. We were shooting these noxes. Oh man, I got a lot. Holy shit. There's gonna be a lot of reviewing today. We got some with the moon in there. Oh man, some of these are rad though. I forgot we did this. This was my last stream before I had caught COVID and then had to chill. I had to chill for a couple weeks. Uh we've been getting some real cool shots, man. I'm very happy. I'm very proud of what we've shot on here. Uh, my biggest complaint is that there's no way to export these and save them in any kind of high quality way. Freaking bummer. I mean, really all they would have to do is add a way to view these images full screen on a clean interface. That's it. Like, like right here, instead of delete, you could click and go full screen and then it would give me a nice, nice, at least decent resolution image uh without all the distortion and crap uh because yeah it's like I, I i run out of space and some of these like i do really love how unique some of these photos are kind of a bummer i guess the the existence of shooting yeah no, uh yeah streamlabs is not working right now yeah uh that's a Paxmore thing i actually I meant to text him. I meant to text him and be like, hey, man, how do I, uh, I'm like, how do I, uh, how do I, how do I get that working if you're not on the stream? Because he's got, he's got my, my, uh, my moderator has, has all the control over that. I'm sure I could control it if I was, if I knew how, but I'm, I don't. Anyway, sorry about that. It's going to be a short stream anyway. And then tomorrow, hopefully we'll have that all up and running. It's not a big deal. The big draw to this is shooting these photos, right? Which, I mean, we might not even get to it. Um, uh, because it looks like... Yeah, I only really have, like, maybe an hour. An hour or so to do this stuff, and it's going to take us... Well, we'll get a little bit of shooting done. But I'm going to try to wrap things up around 8 o'clock. Around 8. Um, just, just for the heads up. Anyway, let's go back. Let's see, where did we... I forget where we kind of stopped. Where we... I think this is from the previous streams. I forget which streams each one of these things is from. To be honest, I should go back and, like, look. I forget where we... Okay, so we started... Yeah, I can't even remember... This is because it's been so freaking long now. Hang on. Let's see if I can. So our last stream. 
our last whoops our last stream that we had done we shot i'm just gonna graze through the stream real quick graze scrub graze scrub scroll scan like whatever baby whatever baby uh ooh, i was wearing my n64 shirt on one of these other streams not that long ago paul you're looking at the video of you now this is happening now uh okay so we did all that shit wow okay some reason I thought we did some I thought a couple of these images were separate but it looks like we okay so we did the bridge dude that was the beginning of last stream we were on the bridge right here and then we scrolled through all those god I gotta get myself back on track we did the choo choo. We shot a choo the choo choo next to the uh, next to the waterfall, looking down the path. That was fun. Do we do we keep any of those? We shot no. I guess did we come back to this spot? Oh, I see. No, we shot until two choo choos popped up, and then we saw that star fragment fall, and then we took a couple shots. I'd love to get a shooting star in the frame sometime. That would be a big challenge to try to grab grab one of those popping through my frame up in the night sky that'll be real cool uh, what's up gary um yeah these choo-choo shots we we took the choo-choo shots and then we got the shooting star okay that was all last stream and then we ended with the stall knocks or the uh he knocks oldest of kin we were shooting the eldest um okay so it was all through that wow it just felt like that was uh over the course of a few streams but i guess i was wrong man can be wrong um i'm not the i'm not that excited about this choo-choo one i'm gonna delete this right away it is pretty cool uh i don't i don't i don't hate it i love it this game has got so much atmosphere and beauty to everywhere you point the care. It's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to get a bad bad picture if I'm if I'm not if I'm being honest. Uh, how much room do we have on a roll? Oh yeah, we only have four shots, so we gotta do some damage. Oh look at that horse. Uh, and by that I mean sunrise. What time is it? Is it sunrise or sunset? Yeah, sunrise. That looks gorgeous. That will be we will, we will do something fun with the sunrise when we when we are finished reviewing. Uh, but yeah, we got to be brutal right now because we do have a very limited amount of space. Um, I like this one of the guy walking through here, so we'll keep that. This one, this girl, you know, I liked her pose, and I think what was funny about it really was that she was so scared, and then she went from being like fight or flight to posing in like a perfect smile like nonchalant way and it was hilarious other than that though i mean this picture it's like okay it's okay let's delete that you get you get of the very low contrast look that's going on from uh from just the moonlight at night like this i like you get the highlight pop from and the color pop from her little lantern and that looks great but th that is the highest area of saturation and contrast. And so that looks kind of weird because it's behind her. It's not in, it's not like if that light was emanating from in front and that was illuminating her, her face and body, that would have been great. But it's, it's uh, anyway, that, nah, we're, we're not keeping it. Um, I do really love the shot of her walking in front of Fort Hateno like this, though, with the moon uh, rising up above there. That looks pretty cool. I kind of wish I wish it, we had a combination of these two shots. Uh, only because I like the position of the moon in the sky better in this first one. I like the mountain range crop that I have in that first one. This one, there's like that little weird ridge or that little weird uh, protrusion at that top left corner. 
and it, it's cutting through the sky but then there's that little tiny spot on the top left corner uh that is not quite as interesting or not not as ideal i don't like that there, there's that little trap tra trap triangle it's not really a trap triangle but trap corner top left corner um i don't like that and i so i kind of wish we had this exact shot but then just with that npc walking through um so we'll keep this one and we'll, i mean although i know i have the problem with this one but i think her being in the frame makes it much more interesting all all, all together than uh the slightly better composition and timing of this first shot plus we can come back and get this shot of the moonrise over Hateno probably anytime we want. Uh, I don't know about this particular NPC's schedule. Although it kind of seemed like they're always there right right around the same time, but uh, I could be wrong about that. So or they it just they might get held up by bandits and not make it, not make their schedule. Um, so let's delete this one. This one we will keep. Uh, choo choo, bye bye choo choo. It's cool, but I like these the other these these subsequent choo choo shots a lot better. Like, especially this one. I really like this shot quite a bit, dude. This shot is great. I'm at, I'm in love with this shot. The uh, the choo-choos look great paired up like that next to each other. Looks like they're up to something mischievous. Uh, I like that there's the path leading through the center of the frame behind them towards that tree. I love the waterfall. Could I would have loved a little bit more light hitting the waterfall, the water itself. Uh, but I love that waterfall. The mountains on the top left side look absolutely gorgeous. The moon could not look better. It's a, It looks like it's about a fitty-fitty moon. Uh, waning or waxing, I couldn't tell you, but it's definitely, it looks about a 50%. Um, and then there's enough texture in the clouds on that top right side of the sky uh, so that that doesn't just look like a, a an empty, textureless blue which wouldn't have been terrible, but I do like that there's a little bit of those those wispy clouds too. That that adds the texture that I'm that I'm that I'm in love with. Uh, I guess my one complaint is that bottom left side of the bottom left corner. Not too not nothing too interesting happening there. I would I wish there was like maybe some some flowers of some type or something other than just just the straight grass. Uh, but it's not the worst thing in the world. I do like the shot though, so let's keep that one for now. Um, this one of the, the, the close-up shot of the two choo-choo's nowhere near as cool as this one. And I'm not a big fan of that tree peeking into my frame in that top right corner. It's contextless. I don't like it. Goodbye. And then also because we have been, we are close to the uh, these NPCs, that throws the moon out of focus. And the moon never looks as good when it's out of focus. It always looks much better when we have it uh, held in focus. And I have no control over that, really. Or I have very limited control. I, it really has to do with just where the center of the frame uh, or where, you know, I'm placing the uh, the whatever it is in the frame in the center. And I have to be centered on it. And that seems like what it's focusing on. It's basically just like a center point autofocus. And that's about it. Uh, sometimes I've been surprised and I'll get like a close up of a, of a NPC and there will there will still be a very extended depth of field. But. Uh, that's pretty hard to come by. In 76, in Fallout 76, uh, when we're snapping pictures with the camera item, with our ProSnap Camera Deluxe, uh, yeah, ProSnap Camera Deluxe, ProSnapCameraClub.com. Uh, when we shoot with that, it's an infinite, it's basically an almost infinite depth of field with every snap. And then if we go into photo mode, there is... A plethora of depth of field options including just straight up turning depth of field off to have a very deep focus uh but then we there's there's uh, a huge amount of control over the depth of field in that game's photo mode it's beautiful it's a very well implemented photo mode um obviously that's why i play that game so much on the stream because it's, it's very fun to shoot anyway this shot sucks no bye um Hopefully we'll be able to play it and I might only be able to get a review done. I might only be able to get a review done. Oh, I will also say this. I have been working on getting the quality of everything a little bit higher. I know that, um, well, photo idea. Yes, please. Uh, 
If you feel like it, can we try a cool selfie that incorporates an ancient Sheikah monk? Yeah, never tried. Ooh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Definitely. Um, I'll I'll go try to do that tonight. Yeah, I'll go try. Uh, that can be my first. Well, we got this sunset going. If I can't get to it tonight, if I, because I wanted we're at sunset or sunrise right now. Um, so we'll shoot a little bit of that, and then if I got time, like I said, I really don't have that much time tonight, unfortunately. Should have got on earlier. My bad. Um, but yeah, let's. I will definitely do that. Thank you for the John Mo, Walter Mosley Hinton. Thank you for the suggestion. Let me give you. Yeah. Dude, you're going to get like a, uh, God, I don't want to use the wrong, I was going to use one of these little pride, I don't want to, I'm not going to appropriate the pride symbols, I'm just going to give you a heart in the comments, Two, wait, three hearts for Triforce, ah, ha <laughs> um, yeah, I will do that. Uh, so after we shot these choo-choos, we did see a shooting star. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, it's not that I don't want higher quality. It's that it's a big, it's a big commitment in terms of storage. And, um, I like the way Johnny, my brother, John here has, has, uh, gave me a pretty good idea for a workflow for having a high, high quality recorded version uh, on my external recorder, I was gonna set up the external recorder tonight, but I didn't. I didn't have time to set it up. Uh, I was gonna try to record the streams directly into my recorder, uh, so we have a very high quality output there. That will be uploaded to YouTube, and then I will delete that file uh, because they're fucking huge. I mean, these low, these extremely, these are extremely compressed videos. These are extremely compressed videos. They're only at 720 resolution, uh, yet they are extremely compressed. And yet one of my streams, let's see how long, just for instance, the last Zelda stream we did was two hours and 45 minutes. And that came in at 7.6 gigabytes of uh, file size. So I, I, and like, I cannot really commit to holding on to a high quality. I'm going to, I don't know what their like compression ratio is here, but if it's, you know, like I'm guessing it's like a one to 10 or something like that. So I'm probably looking at like a 60 gigabyte file maybe i don't know I, I i also have a lot of compression options on my recorder which i'll still record in like the lowest compress or like the most decent decent quality with the with the highest amount of compression um and i'm gonna toy around with that and i meant to do that tonight but i, I fucked it up so maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow would have been a good night to do it though because of how short the stream is going to be but i can always set something up midweek that i know is not going to be long um either way Higher quality YouTube stuff on the way. I cannot do much about the broadcast quality here. Um, don't cross streams. Yeah, exactly. We got to. Uh, that's the, that's a redemption. I have like a. There's a lot of. There's a lot of Ghostbusters redemption potential. Uh, no Dana, only Zool. Uh, Gatekeeper. Uh, Keymaster. Uh, Feast represents the last of the petty cash. There's so many. We got one. Holy shit. How's my audio, by the way? Am I loud or not? I was doing some recording voiceover stuff, and I fucked around with my levels. Uh, but I hope they're... I think they're... I think they're good. Check, check, check. It's more about how balanced the levels are between the game and myself speaking. Anyway... I, I never mind if you guys complain or tell me that it's fucked up. I, I very much appreciate it. So keep keep that up. I know no one no one has seemed shy to tell me, but always if you th if it something sounds weird or looks weird or whatever, please please let me know. It's not embarrassing. I know things can go wrong. Um, it's not gonna hurt my feelings. Anyway, uh, we shot those choo choos, and then we saw that falling. Uh, falling star fragment and we ran right over to grab it it fell on the side of a mountain and it was in a very stupid location to get any kind of interesting shots uh but we managed to get a couple cool ones of these keys kind of defending it i like it when the, sh the shots i love building a 
as every image should, uh, building a story and telling a story with the image or at least kind of building some kind of, of uh, story-based context in the image. Um, and in this case, these keys are defending this little fallen star fragment in my mind you know they're 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 uh they're just hovering hovering around it and they're about to attack me i do wish uh, i don't like the, I, that being said i don't like this shot very much uh the two keys should be opposite each other i'd like the smaller one on the right side of the frame that larger keys would have been perfect up in the sky in that top left side because we have a huge void in that top left quadrant terrible uh, and something filling one of those keys at least, even if it was the small one somewhere up in that in that area would have would have helped this photo out a lot. But as it is, it's not. It's, it's eh. Is eh. eh. Or if the moon was up there in the sky on the left, ooh. But alas, this one's a piece of crap. So no, let's just delete it. That delete, delete it. Uh, why that just okay? And then we then we get into our our Hinox battle, which was pretty cool. I love it's actually it is also very very fun trying to get these enemies in position, kiting them around, leading them around, trying to get them in a position that that we like. Um, and obviously in this case, I absolutely loved the moon popping up. Um. As we were fighting this guy, I'm always gonna try to get some celestial bodies in my in my shots if I can. Um, these are all pretty cool. This one's got flair, JJ Abrams for you. Um, this one's okay. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Other than the flair, it's like eh. He's got like he's he's not really put. Yeah, I don't like this shot's not that great. I don't like it. Uh, I, I, I it's like he's in the that little bone area and that area looks really cool. But here it's like we're only seeing the like edge of the tips of those rib cage bones. Uh, I actually wish none of that was this actually would have been a lot better had we or those just had not been there because that twisted tree. I like that gnarled twisted tree. That looks cool. That could have been a great. Uh, right side heavy element to the frame uh, or kind of right side heavy. They're both f fairly centered or the Hinox and that tree are kind of on the, the uh, two thirds each respectively left and right thirds of the frame. And the Hinox would have stood out a lot better had none of that junk been behind him or around him. And then that tree trunk is not... Uh, intersecting with him at all so that could have been another really cool uh thing standing out just against the blue sky but all that junk around and behind it actually kind of ruined it so no the flare's cool though uh this shot's pretty cool but i don't know that landscape behind is this, this kind of boring kind of a boring background uh, the color is great though. The color is pretty nice. I like that that we. Uh, I should have tilted up a little bit too, cause I'm. I don't. The foreground. I do. The flowers aren't bad. Those are the kind of flowers, like I said in in that choo choo shot when it was just the green grass on the one side. Had some of those flowers or a patch of those flowers been on that left side to break up. Uh, the repetition of of that texture of the grass that could have been cool. Um, but here I think I could have tilted up uh included maybe a little bit more sky because that foreground it feels like we're tilted down just a little bit too much in my opinion uh, and the hinox the hinox looks kind of boring too he's like not really doing anything he's just standing there he's like i need a new picture for my instagram can you take one yeah take it i'm like no dude no it's not what i'm here for pal I'm here to get a shot of you trying to whack me you know so no let's just delete that one Instagram, Instagram, shut up, Hinox. Uh, this shot's cool. We got the moon in there. Unfortunately, the Hinox. Here's another good example. He's he's uh positioned in front of those trees. Again, kind of makes him bleed into the background a little bit. Uh, 
in my opinion. He does have a nice little rim edge kind of light around him from being backlit by the moon. That's kind of cool. That's making him stand out a little bit. Uh, but then there's no light coming uh, from the front at all. So he's kind of just a full, almost like a full silhouette. Not really a full. So that's, there's plenty of detail. So it's not really a silhouette, but he's just not lit. Not enough fill in the front here. Uh, I, although it's not, it's not the, it's not, the, it wouldn't be the biggest deal because his eye is glowing enough to make, I think, I think his character stand out a, a little bit better, but you know what? The, the position of the moon in the frame is terrible. Um, a big void top right quadrant, big void of nothingness. Uh, you can just barely see that shrine popping out from over the hill on the, on the bottom right ish side. And then that, so it's like, I, I'm like, I want to like, I'm trying to like raise up to see that whole thing. Like here, I should have been above and elevated and pointing down a little bit more. That would have brought all of those elements in line with where I'd want to place them in the frame, but we couldn't do that. There was no position for me to get at that height. So no, it's deleted. Um, Th this shot kind of remedies quite a few of those complaints of the last one, but it's still not that interesting of a shot. <sighs> I'm trying to think of like which one of these I should also be comparing them because I, I think I just want to keep maybe like one of them. This one's pretty cool. I like the position of the moon in that one. Yeah. So between these two, which are essentially the same thing, this one is just walking with a log in his hand this one he has no log um but we cleared up that tree from the left side of the frame which looked terrible um the moon is higher in the sky so it's it's better balanced i believe because of that the background is clear he's kind of not he's posed nicely to stand out in front of the sky i don't really like that fire on the ground i'm guessing that's from one of my arrows maybe maybe i shot a flaming arrow at him or something uh or something lit something on fire over there that's kind of a silly little color pop down there under his right hand but whatever that's th that this is better than this one in my opinion so let's delete this one right yeah 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 um, that log in his hand was not really held uh in a in a way that was legible this shot's okay. I like this shot. I like his 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 pose here is great. He's taking that step towards the camera. All his limbs are separated. Uh, I love the moon, but it is very low and doesn't really balance the composition. Everything's very cluttered centrally. You hey, Baxmore. Hey, thank you. Yes, Redemption. Thank you. We, we got him. Um, yes. Uh, welcome to the party. Uh, if you missed it, Paxmore, I'm probably not going to be on for too long. Just FYI. I know you guys all schedule your lives around my stream. <laughs> it's like all you got going on, and it's like the best. I know. Yeah, of course. Um, but I'm going to, I'll probably be wrapping up around eight. Just FYI. Um, and then you can all have the rest of the evening for your own activities. Uh, either way, moon is way too low in the frame. It's also out of focus. Everything is cluttered together. Only redeeming factor of this is the pose on the Hinox itself, which I would have taken over this pose here. But again, overall composition here, I think, is stronger. So not that I really mind this one all that. I don't know. It's fine. But I mean, none of these are really that great. I'll probably end up just deleting most of these. But I wanted to keep one at least for for the remainder of this stream uh this shot's eh the moon is gone he's still backlit so his his front side looks very gray very muddy uh the landscape is is okay this is probably a better air uh, uh vantage point looking at that hillside but it, it it is rather a boring area of landscape here um so nah nah uh, this shot's okay. It's hard to get the shots of the moon and compose the, the NPC in a way that'll allow them to both be in focus. Like I said, I have no control over the depth of field. So 
it focuses where it wants to. And uh, sometimes I'm amazed that the, the moon will be in focus as well as whatever subject we're pointing at. Um, yeah, so this one's eh. Let's delete that one. Uh, I think we kept this one because there was that roasted chicken <laughs> or roasted roasted meat flying through the bottom right side of the frame. What else is in there? I forget what we did. I forget what that was that we were shooting that photo of. Might have been just a exploding the stall knocks with something. I forget. I forget what that explosion was. Oh, well, like the explosion looks cool. There's just nothing really happening. Other than that chicken. So, so no. Uh, and then we get did our obligatory self-portrait, which was really cool. Because, like, as we were doing it, the, the that looks like, uh, what dragon is that? What dragon? Be you, that, if I'm not mistaken, that sh is that Feroche? That's Feroche, right? Yeah, that's Feroche. She's got the yellow. You got the yellow horn, the yellowness, the electric, the electric dragon, electric infused drag. Oh, uh, but this was cool. We were doing our last portrait and then um, we, we got a little frame with the, the, the dragon and that's kind of fun. Uh, but no, let's delete those. Those are these are for these are just for the end of the stream purposes. And we'll keep the remainder of these for now. I like those shots. And I'm also, I'm like, keeping my fingers crossed and holding out hope that there will be a way to get some of these off my, my system in a high-quality fashion. If not, I mean, we're just going to keep whittling down our portfolio until it's like every single one of these shots is nothing but 100% keepers. I'm pretty stoked on how much stuff we we got some good stuff, dude. I'm bummed at some of the things we've had to delete, and I'm happy about how much of good stuff, how much, how much quality work we're producing. Uh, let's shoot some photo. Let's see. okay. So we got this sunrise. Um, and we're in this boring spot though. Let's just move. Let's like just shift somewhere fun. Barone Tower. I think is this gonna be kind of recessed? Let's go check. We've never we've never played around in um uh the Foron area at all, I don't think. I'd love to get to like an elevated point. I bet this spot is oh yeah, it says little heart spot. Tuft Mountain. Little Tuft Mountain. Clarinet Coast. I love... Let's go... Dude, let's go... Wait, what the hell? Why did my controller, like, stopped working for, like, a split second? Something's up with... It might be my HDMI cable. Also, like, it blacks out. The screen will black out randomly. Happened a few times. Let's go to Yareen Shrine and try to get a good sunrise of... Um, Loreline Village. Lorlin Village. Let's do that. You know what? Things are heating up. I know it's technically still spring, right? But it's starting to get pretty hot, and I'm starting to think about summer, and I'm starting to think about uh, the beach. Although maybe should, should, we, should we not do that yet, and should we wait for summertime? Summertime shooting. Yeah, maybe we will wait for summertime shooting. Never mind. Strike that. Strike that. I will save that. Yeah, I'll save the beaches. I'll save the beaches for actual summer. Let's not jump. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, so in that case, uh, and we did have a request to try to shoot one of the shrines. So let's do this. Let's go. We'll go to this shrine on Cape Kales. We'll go to Muajim Shrine. Ooh, modest test of strength. Uh, and we'll try to get, maybe we'll get a shot of this spot. If we can, maybe there'll be a cool overlooking. Maybe we can get like a shot of a Ventide Island from in a, in the distance or something, and then we'll go into this um, this shrine. Oh, I should have saved too. Whatever. Um, we'll go into the shrine and then we'll get the shot of that little uh, uh, the little monk that's chilling in there. 
the Sheikah monk that is like looks desiccated, you know, they look all desiccated and shit. Okay, so first of all, let's save. Okay, um, plenty of room. So first let's just get a shot of the shrine itself with the sunrise. This looks really cool right now. Uh, save that for now. I don't like that I missed the totality of the of the shrine itself. Ooh, look at that flare and shit. That looks pretty cool. Let's get on this side. Ooh, perfectly backlit like that with the glow from the sunrise. It works here because um, because the illuminated, the glow from the blue Sheikah goo, the Sheikah liquid, that is enough illumination and texture on that front side, even though we were talking about that Stalnox not having enough frontal light to fill in uh, his face and front of his body. Here, it doesn't need it because we have that beautiful glow uh, from, the, from, from the Sheikah stuff, the Sheikah liquids. And that's plenty of uh, plenty of texture on that side to make it not feel like it's just a silhouette or that it's underlit. So let's keep that. Let's let's tweak this image a little bit, though. I liked pushing a little bit. Not bad. I really wish I could get a little bit higher up, but that's fine. Yeah, this looks gorgeous, though. We haven't really just shot a single picture of of a shrine like this yet. Let's see what else we can play around. Oh, V's! V's! Oof. Sloppy comp, dude. Okay, let's fuck around and get that. Get those V's in there. Maybe we can, like, do it this from this side just, just for the shit of it. V, V, V. Eh. It's not bad. Okay. Okay. Shrine at sunrise. Let's see if we can get some of Death Mountain in there. Oh, another V. Let's try to we'll, yeah, let's try to incorporate all three of those compositional elements. Oof. God, this game's gorgeous, dude. God darn it. I don't like to say bad words, so say darn. Oh, darn. Um, yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous. The color in this game makes me so happy. It just makes me so happy have like a real nice close-up full almost full fill the frame with everything here perfect that's a pretty one dude and then we'll kind of oh we gotta oh wait a minute when you see an ox you incorporate the ox you stay there pal i'm not gonna get too maybe it's you just Oh, you choo-choo sons of bitches. Oh, I hate choo-choos. I kill them any chance I get. This is a good chance. Fuck with my ox, dude. I like how stoic this ox is. Is that an ox? Oh, no, shit. He's getting angry. He's not stoic. He's ornery. Fuck! Fuck! Okay, he's gone. Well... No one really wanted you anyway, dude. Fuck out of here. <laughs> a goat! Wait. No, he's... Nest... Right there! Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I'll save that shot. Damn, would have been better if that was the ox. Ox or bison? What are those things called? I think it's ox. 
it's an ox. So I'll make sure I'm being being true. Well, we got the mountain goat. El Chivo. El Chivo. But where's the... Oh, there they are. No, it's a Tano cow. Oh, there they are. Water buffalo. Buffalo. Uh, not good with my bovine. You know? Just not. Uh, the doctor implied... She's gonna get me bovine hormone. That's like this kind of like this wide shot of the. Very beautiful. Uh, eh. eh, maybe not. It's okay. All right, there's there's a uh, Ventide Island, which we said we were gonna try to get a shot of. But that was like I was hoping I'd get it at sunrise. I don't know how cool it's gonna look now. Eh, yeah, there's nothing really special about it now. I mean, it's just an island. It's a cone. It's a cone. They're islands. Uh, but at sunrise or sunset, this could be a real pretty shot. I'm going to take it anyway. Maybe just to remind myself that we can grab this next time we're, next time we're out here. I mean, that looks pretty nice. That does look pretty nice. I love those little islands in the background. Anyway, that's just a spot, a save, a, a, a keeper for the, um, uh, just to remind me to shoot that. Like maybe next, at the beginning of next stream, maybe we'll do a little time lapse sit through, which I do love doing that. That's kind of fun. Very much like real life. You choose, you find a subject, you find a scene, you compose. And then sometimes you're just literally waiting for the light, dude. How many times in my life have I just been waiting for light? So many times. And light moves fast, dude. Light, this is one of my quotes. Light moves fast, but sometimes you got to wait for it. You know? Quote me on that. Quote me on that. I should put it on Twitter. I should tweet it. Is it like, would it be lame if I like tweet photo quotes? I don't really want to. <laughs> but, uh, I'll just say them. It, when I'm talking on my stream, it's like, it's like a three dimensional tweet, you know? Three dimensional interactive tweeting is what streaming is. Okay, so we'll battle this guy. Oh shit, it's one of the pillars. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Ooh, he's got a nice big ol' nice big ol' axe and a shield. I want all those. But we also should uh ooh. This might have been a bad idea. Okay, I got two fairies. I got like no health replenishment. That was a mistake. Whatever, let's top up with these cooked foods that I don't even mean to grab. Uh, no defense buff. Oof. Okay, so no defense buff means we pop on defense clothing. Uh, which, what is the best defensive clothing? I think it's, I think the soldier's stuff. Oh, wait, no, 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 what am I talking about? Ancient shit, because we're fine ancient, dude. Durr! Yeah, doofus. Okay, Guardian Resist, uh, and then we will buff ourselves for the attack, uh, since you cannot double up on, uh, any of these buffs, you get, a, you get, to get the three attack up buff, you get a three attack up buff, whether you're wearing, it doesn't stack with the clothing buff, um, so now we should have a little bit better defense against this enemy while also increasing our offense. Uh, and now we're gonna rock house. Uh oh. Also, where's my bow looking like? Uh, we got knight's bow on now. Sure, I'm not really using it for the damage. I'm just using it to. Ah! Ah! Get 
just using it for the um, for the stun potential. Really could really just stun lock the shit out of these guys. Ah, that cat. That was not. I agree with the modest test uh, description on that one. Ancient bad looks. And no cores. Come on, dude. Drop me a core. I think the cores are like the only bottleneck I have in terms of uh, the ancient materials. Already got the item. Oh, shit. But John. Oh, bro. I'm not going to be able to do... <laughs> um, so I thought that they stayed here. I guess they kind of fade away. So, sorry, Johnny. We got to do that on a new save file. I, I did think what would be cool, and what we will do... Um, first of all, you uh, I've had requests from... I mean, so many... I mean, I get... Uh, I get fan mail, like, every day. Um, uh, what we'll do uh, when we're trying to get the Master Cycle Zero, which is what I've had requests for, uh, doing the quest to do the Master Cycle Zero thing, um, what I would do is that we, could, we can play through that storyline through those quests yeah, but we can take pictures while we're doing it. You know what I mean? Like try to try to create a log of our adventure while we're accomplishing the tasks. That is where I would go with it. I remember I just had been thinking like I didn't want to, I didn't want to do those type of playthroughs if I wasn't going to be taking photos. And I don't know why I didn't just think that we could take photos while we're trying to do the quest. So it's kind of silly, but um, I realized that that sounds pretty cool. Plus, I watched. I watched some Master Cycle Zero videos, and uh, some people do some really cool stuff with them. Uh, it looks really fun to drive around with those things, so uh, I am interested to try it. Uh, so we'll do that. Um, anyway, sorry we can't, we cannot, we cannot shoot the monk, unfortunately. So let's just bounce. Eww. Whoops. Um. And, uh, ooh, dude, this is a good self-portrait, uh, material. So, portrait. Wait, no, I gotta be facing the other direction, though. No, I wanted the view from, like, within. So, okay, here's what we have to do. Go all the way in here. Well, didn't that look cool though? Like looking out through the doorway here, kind of creating a frame um, within the frame. Ugh, I am so bad with the controls. Okay, right, but we have to be looking this way. We do have to be looking this way. God damn you, Paul. God damn you. Okay, no, we have to be like, we gotta be like in there. We gotta be like, I'm not gonna examine. I'd rather not examine. Um, but what I will do, video game, is take a sick shot. Let's see, am I not centered or something? Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, that looks fucking cool. Something like that. I can't really look straight with my Lionel Crusher eating into the top of the freaking thing. Whatever. Uh, it doesn't need to be centered. Whatever. Okay, what kind of pose? We always do. What poses? We, like, never just do hands on hip. Let's do hands on hip. Very happy with myself for accomplishing that goal of going through the shrine. Modest test of strength. Wow. Yippee. That shot's okay. I feel like it should keep that. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. It's a self-portrait. 
Okay, little review before I wrap up. Um, that was so fast. But we got a good review out of the way. We got a huge review out of the way, so that's fun. Uh, basic. Basically, we just shot this try. That's that was really our main our main subject that we spent time shooting. I think that they look pretty sweet. I think some of these look pretty sweet. I think these first ones, the first ones when we first started putting it in a in a backlit scenario with the with the um, the sun right behind it. Those are these ones are kind of my favorite. I wish I kind of didn't compose it. This one is this one's probably my favorite. Um, but I kind of wish I just made that the edge of that that plant, that little shrub. I wish I had gotten that guy fully in the frame. It's just it's just clipping the very long branch off just a little bit, just snipping the tip, just a tiny bit, just a tiny snip. Uh, but it's bothersome. I don't like it. I disagree. Um, so wish I would have panned. I, I did correct that mistake in some of these other ones trying to hold that. See here, like for instance, this one, this is cool. This shot's also, this is probably my second favorite. I just don't like, there's that hot spot from the sun. The sun is no longer fully, uh, back, uh, backlighting it. It's, it's now peeking over the edge and there's a very bright hot spot. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. I liked the softer glow around the sun that is highlighting the shrine itself here. Um, and then the color of the sky also is, is because this is earlier in the sunrise. We have a lot uh, more color gradient going on, uh, radiating from the sun's warmth out to the, the blue of the sky. Love that. Because, uh, yeah, when, when the sun is in the frame... It, it does create those hot spots, which I'm not a big fan of. Uh, and I'll analyze these in more depth next time, too. Let my mind think about them for a while. Uh, and then we will also shoot this Eventide Island shot. Um, so, yeah. Pretty cool. Let's save. Boom. Uh, I know that was a quick one. Quick one, quick one. Uh, but that's all I got time for, uh, tonight. Uh, really appreciate y'all hanging out. I hope that was fun and entertaining and interesting. Um, it's going to be Friday tomorrow, which means we're going to be doing Photography Friday in Fall at 76, of course. Uh, standard operating procedure for Fridays. Should be up around 7.30 p.m. PT tomorrow evening. If all goes as planned, um, yeah, that's that's it. That's about it. Uh, yeah, really appreciate everyone hanging out. Uh, you can you can go watch a stream or anywhere. You come to my stream for the atmosphere and the attitude, uh, and I hope you like it. Uh, always remind you to love yourself, love others, love life. Don't lose your dinosaur. Have some fun, play some games, and shoot some photos. If I don't see y'all tomorrow, if you're not going to be on the stream tomorrow, I urge you to enjoy your weekend. Play some games, relax a little bit. Shoot some photos, either in-game or out-of-game. Snap a photo with your phone if all you got is your cell phone. I love my photos that I take on my cell phones. Uh, so you can do it. Uh, you, don't need to, you don't need a Sheikah Slate. You definitely don't need a Sheikah Slate. Uh and, uh, yeah, just be good to yourselves, y'all. Uh, appreciate you. I love you all. Appreciate you all. Cherish you all. And uh, I'll see everybody tomorrow for Photo Fridays, Photography Fridays. Also, uh, ooh, socials really quick. Let's do socials if, if – uh... yes, Streamlabs. I love you, Paxmore. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube and you enjoyed it, obviously uh, consider liking the video and subscribing. Very much appreciate it. Very helpful. Uh, if you're new to the stream, uh, following the stream is a great way to help support it if you enjoyed what you saw. Um, Instagram, thank Look you. Dream, thank you. Uh, Instagram, 
is where we will post a lot of really mostly the the real life photo stuff. But I I have also done a lot of our game photos, and I'll probably be ending up posting a lot more game stuff on there uh, as time goes on. Twitter has just been uh, alerts for when we go live, um, but check that out if you want to be alerted. And if you want to support the channel, really a good way you could do that is through Patreon. Uh, very much appreciate all the love and support I've got there thus far. And if you do enjoy the stream and you would like to help support it and help us grow, that's a good place to start. Um, so enjoy the rest of your evening, all. I love you all. Goodbye, all. I'll see everyone tomorrow for Photo Friday. Goodbye. Peace. Peace and love. Peace and love.